So one of the things about the Ulink network is that when you sign up, you know, one of the things you get is the is the app and on the website they actually have a mobile app simulator so that you can see all of your contacts and it works in real time. And I believe Mr. Adam Frick and Mr. Jim Pilly have joined us. Good morning, gentlemen. We have, thank Good you. Good morning. Good morning. So how is life? Uh, life is good. 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 Uh, All right. Your, uh, pause there. So. <laughs> check in. It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's very good. Okay, good, good. So it's uh, not Carl Palachuk good, but it's darn good. Well, you know, small steps, right? So, right. <laughs> uh, Adam, are you ready for me to give you hand off the uh, control here? Uh, certainly. One second here. Let's see. All Let me know when, and I'll uh, I'll click on the make presenter. I am. I am correct. <laughs> I am here. All right. So you got all that stuff hidden we talked about yesterday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alrighty. Yes, right. So for those of you who missed the first webinar, let me just introduce. Ulink Network is a, an amazing organization that I belong to for more than four years, almost five years, in Sacramento, California, and in the regions. Um, I guess the biggest, the, the coolest groups are all in Folsom, I suppose, but um, uh, Jerry Kennedy, who used to work for me, uh, and I helped start one of the core groups in downtown Sacramento, and have I've been a member since then, and so um, I will let Adam and Jim take it from here, give a quick introduction, and then and we'll talk about how we want to engage a larger IT community in this. Okay, go ahead, Jim. Want you so, yeah, uh, my name is Jim Pelly. Adam and I are partners in Link Network, and we were the ones that people always called to find a handyman, to find a CPA, to find an IT person. So five years ago, we created Ulink Network, and we wanted to create a mobile connecting platform kind of a QuickBooks version of networking, and we'll take you through a quick overview. After a meeting with Carl uh, about a month ago, he said, boy, I'd like to introduce this to uh, you know, the SMB community uh, because they are often, no pun intended, the connectors. And what we want to set up is a community project where you can help business owners that buy your products and services buy the products and services of your customers. So whether they're in uh, banking or finance or real estate, uh, a, a contractor, legal, legal uh, that you become the connecting hub. And the way that we're going to do that, and we'll take you through the presentation, are actual face-to-face -face meetings and we would provide the content and the outline for those, and then using the Ulink Network mobile app. And our goal in doing this is to get more feedback. So currently, we are the first and only business developing networking group organization with a mobile application. And that basically means the ability to send and receive referrals in the palm of your hand 24-7, 365. And when that happens, you can get it as an email, you can get it on the mobile app, you can even get it as a text message. So our mission is really to connect people, and this is a key part, that we personally know, people that we trust, because when you give a referral, a little bit of your credibility goes with that referral. So we're all about building stronger communities for people that we care about, our customers, our colleagues. The way that referrals build community is everybody's happy when they're getting business. And if you're the connecting point, if you're the hub for that, uh, you really build customer loyalty. And they say, gosh, XYZ IT man, I'm in their networking group, uh, I'm getting referrals, they're helping me build my business. So what our app really does works on all smartphone platforms is it gives you the ability to instantly send and receive referrals and we'll take you through a demo in a minute 
And these are timely. We've actually had the experience in ULink where two people were standing at an event and they referred a third person and uh, instantly heard back, wow, thanks for the referral. Uh, so there's some real power in timely referrals. In old school networking groups, if you've ever been a part of them, uh, people write it on a slip of paper, they pass it around, then you put it in your binder, you take it home, you follow up. These are on your phone, in your hand, on your desktop in real time. And what it enables the receiver of the referral to do is quickly follow up. In fact, Adam has built into the software a great little default email uh, that you can send off if you don't have time to fully respond just to acknowledge the referral. And then on the back end of the software, all referrals are organized and archived for easy follow-up. And I think the most awesome part of the software is we actually have a predictive networking portion where the software begins to analyze referrals sent within the group, within a larger network of groups, and says, gosh, ABC Accounting, their perfect referral partner or the person they're most likely to get a referral from is ABC Company. And uh, because they're all on the software, then they can connect with them. Some pretty powerful uh, tools to make it really easy to run a business networking group. And last, and we think most important, and what Carl saw in the ULink software is a way for the IT community uh, to build customer loyalty. It's one thing when a customer buys from you and they like your product and they said, hey, you're great at what you do, but when you can take their business to another level, when you can provide income for them by being the connector and part of that hub, you build genuine raving fans and customer loyalty. So our format is pretty simple. On the left-hand side, this is actually one of our Roseville groups. These people come together. In our format, they meet twice a month for one hour. You can set your groups up to meet every week, uh, twice a month, four times a month, whatever you want. The, the platform is completely customizable. Uh, on, on the other hand, on the other side of the screen is actually a larger uh, business event that we do where we get all of our groups in the Sacramento region. We have about 17 groups together and that's just one of our evening uh, events. So that's an option down the road. And what I don't have here is we actually have meeting structures uh, built into the app where you can meet once a month as well. So if you wanted to have a half day or something like that, you could put that in there. Here's a, so for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, the SMB, uh, Carl's folks, those that are participating in this program, you have complete control uh, over your group management. We have a group management tools that allows you to not only modify the group, select your, your meeting track, your meeting day, the time that you leave, the time that you meet, but you can also select a leadership team once you've established a group and, uh, and really pull in those people that are, uh, uh, that are active and want to participate and want to do more. Um, you can you can select your leadership team, but you can really start seeing uh, if you look over to the left group stats. There's a, that section there really allows you to see who's sending referrals to who, uh, who's showing up, um, and uh, and really gives you insight into how everybody is interacting. So you have complete control over that. You can also email all the groups. So we have three different points of, um, uh, of participation. Our prospects is someone who you've invited through the app, and we make it very easy for you to invite someone through the app. Uh, they are someone who is a prospect. Uh, they haven't yet joined a meeting. Uh, then we have pending members. We upgrade those, those that are prospects to a pending member, and, uh, and they have different accessibility uh, within the app, in fact, they have a 30-day money back, or they, they have a 30-day trial. And then, once uh, once they've decided that they want to become a member, you can upgrade them to member. All three groups you can communicate with at any given time, 
And, uh, and this is in real time, so anytime they move up from prospect to pending member, they're not going to get the prospect email anymore. So we and, want to make it very easy for you to connect and communicate. And, and I wanted to point out, you know, if you think about who you communicate with in your business, you have people that you refer people to all the time, you know, that literally think about when you're out at your client's office and they say, oh, man, we need to have one more network drop. Do you know a cabling guy? Uh, you do, right? <laughs> because, because you're closing up in this business. If it's not you, then you've got somebody that you prefer to work with or you've got two or three, uh, or they want to know, uh, you know, do you know of a business machine company that is actually reliable that I can that I can work with or, you know, our janitorial service needs to be replaced or there's all kinds of things where, you know, businesses working with businesses, you know people. And the, the thing about being in IT is you know everybody, right? You, you know, you may be just in one little vertical like dental, but most of us in the S&B space, we work with a wide variety of clients. So we have people who sell insurance and all kinds of other things. And so when we make a referral, we've actually got a pretty deep Rolodex compared to a lot of our clients. But also a lot of our clients have deep Rolodexes that they can share with each other. But, but our clients don't know each other. And so this is a way to begin to let them to know each other and actually to build a group around you as the central connector for everybody. And I think that's hugely powerful. The other thing about the app is you can't spell somebody's name wrong or get their phone number wrong. <laughs> you just click and they get it. And, and now you, nobody has to come back to you and say, what was, what was her name? Because I think I spelled it wrong. Right. The, uh, e each member has the ability to modify their own profile. Once they're, once they're in, you can make all the changes that you need to necessary for uh, uh, for your business, if your business name changes for any reason or your phone numbers, um, all that information is available for you and the individual member to modify at any time. So if it's wrong, it's their fault. <laughs> Here's an example of the app. Uh, I'm just going to kind of take you quickly through. This is a little video that we that we put together. You're going to notice that uh, red number seven up in the upper right-hand corner. That tells me how many current active leads I have, and I'm going to show you what happens when a lead comes in. Um, and right there, there's the mouse going over that. That shows you that's a seven. Now I'm going to refresh, and you'll notice that that number increased to number eight. Uh, it's oh, telling me that just I, got a referral. I have cool. a new referral, and it looks it's like from me. my business partner <laughs> back in 2013 <laughs> sent me a referral. Uh, you'll notice right here, this is I can easily call or email this uh, this lead. Or there's a big green button below that that says send initial contact. This is what Jim was saying when when we uh, when we wrote out this whole paragraph saying hi, my name is so and so. Uh, I got your name from Carl. Uh, let's do business together. It's all written out for you. All I got to do is hit send initial contact. In this case, we sent an email. And you'll notice down below we've got this uh, drop down menu where you can actually uh, put things in place that you've done with that lead. In this case, we just sent an email, but I could I could use that drop-down menu, and I could say, okay, after I email, I made an appointment, or I rescheduled appointment, left a message, uh, and when I hit go, it tracks it there for me. So everything is time-stamped and tracked as it's happening. Uh, the cool thing is anytime you make a call or an email from this screen, it will track it and, uh, and place it underneath the, the uh, lead management uh, section so you know exactly when you last called, when you last emailed. We want to make it very easy. We want to make it one touch, and the least amount of information that you have to plug in, the better. And that's the way we like it. So really what we're looking to do is blend the best of today's traditional networking tools and social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and now Ulink, uh, to support our customers and help them build their business. This is just one more tool in your toolkit, again, to build that customer loyalty and to help your customers gain more business in the marketplace by you and the entire group being active in uh, referring business to each other. So here's what we have proposed. We talked about this with Carl. Uh, in the last four years, we've set up about 25 groups in five different states. And Carl said, gosh, what if we open this up to the SMB community 
and they were able to start ULink groups where they are. So again, physical meetings uh, that take place, putting people on the app and connecting. So what does it look like? We're going to offer, if you would like to participate, a one-time $99 payment. And if you complete the project, which we're going to run probably starting next week or within the next 10 days to the end of the year. And what does completing the project actually mean? Well, we need a couple of data points and, and things on your end. So the idea is you'd contact 10 to 20 of your best local clients. Between now and the end of the year, schedule at least five meetings. Again, we'll provide the meeting content and the agenda if you want to get started with us. And we want them to reach out to some of their best clients. The bigger a referral group is, a network, the more likely all are to get business. And hopefully you'll gain business from this too. So what we're really looking for is 20 committed business owners meeting by the end of the year, whether that's every week, twice a month, once a month, uh, but 20 people sitting around the table and saying, I'm willing to commit to these meetings and gain referrals for others in the network. During uh, the time frame through now, through the end of the year, we're going to have a couple survey questions, find out what's working, what's not working and likely have a uh, coaching or a check-in call from everybody so we can fine-tune this product. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, wait, there's more. No, that's it. <laughs> I, was, I, just I just like the look on Adam's face. No, I just gave it. away my last Ginsu next set, so there you go. I don't have anything else. So and <laughs> ideally at the start of I was just going to say, so that, that – so for our folks, the analogy is this is a pilot program to yes. seed a broader community, and there is a, a small startup fee, but you get you get that back plus a hundred bucks if you complete the project. And the idea there is is simply to have some skin in the game. I've been involved in so many projects where it doesn't cost anything, and it starts out with fifty people, and four of them complete it. And what I want to get is. You know, we want to get five or ten people and have ten people complete it. And um, but but it means you know that you got to you got to put some skin in the game. And Carl, that brings up a great point. We need at least five uh, people to participate in this project to make it launchable. Um, we've already had a couple contact us that are interested, but we definitely want to make that five ten benchmark. Uh, to get some valid data back from the project. All right. Very good. So you tell us what our next steps. Uh, you know what. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute folks. So um, if anybody has any questions, you can uh, type them in the chat, or you can just uh, uh, unmute yourself and um, and ask the question, and just find out. Um, you know, what do you think of this, and is this something that, that you think that you can take to your clients? Hey, Carl. James Sanford, how are you? Hey, James. I'm good. Hey, so uh, this looks really, really intriguing. $99 a no-brainer. You know, I think I drink more wine than that in one night, so. Um, <laughs> I'm coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> but in any event, I, um, I had recently been approached to join a BNI group, and I was Literally, this is two weeks ago, and I just saw your previous webinar this morning, but I was like, oh, there's got to be a – you mean we have to submit forms via paper? What the hell? And uh, so I started uh, – I saw this, and I was like, oh, my God, this is the perfect solution. So I'm definitely in, uh, no problem on the participation fee. I have a question about when I invite my contacts to come – I mean, I have so many people I think would be interested in this. Are they also going to have to sign up for the $99 fees? Oh, no, no. So – so here's the deal, and, and Jim and Adam will verify I'm right on this, but the, the idea is that this is going to be free for the initial period, and then okay. January 1 or whatever, whenever the project is complete, then um, 
they've got a, a really great deal for you, right? And I don't know if you know if you guys are ready to talk about that side of the money piece of it, but yeah, I'm curious how that works. I mean, it's very, very cool. This is a this is like the perfect networking tool for me because I I'm not comfortable with BNI because I don't know some of the people in that group that I I've never done business with them, so I I'm not sure I want to like like you said lend my credibility out to people I I don't have a long term relationship. With. Well, and I always talk about in terms of the networking that you know you do business with people you know like and trust. You've heard that a million times, yeah. and the the classic networking groups. They get you to know somebody, and you may actually like them, but that kind of the like and trust is built through actually interacting with people and taking it to to another level, and they fall short on that. And part of what Ulink does is it combines real personal relationships you've already built and a networking tool, and so you can actually get together. I mean, a lot of the stuff that you see me posting about Ulink online, it's getting together and doing things socially. And there are times where, you know, I mean, people around here, we get five or six Ulink people together and go wine tasting for no apparent reason. Uh, but, you know, it builds the like part of that no like and trust. And um, and so, because a lot of times, like in a BNI or, a, you know, not to badmouth them, but a lot of those groups, there's one insurance person. And if you don't like that insurance person, you are not likely to give them a referral. And right. But the rules of the group are that you have to. Right. And let me jump in on that, Carl. And, and great question, James. Um, B&I and LITSIP are what we call a requirement-based model. You have to come every week. It's a 90-minute meeting. You have to bring a lead to the group. And within the group, they are category, business category exclusive. So one IT person, one banker, one insurance person. And as Carl pointed out, the expectation is, because the insurance guy is in my group, whether I like him or I trust him, I am obligated to refer him. We set up Ulink based on a relationship model. There are no requirements to send referrals. You only do so when you're confident in the person you're referring and when there is a genuine need for that product or service on the other end. So, you know, that's how we address those issues. Got it. Any other questions? Oh, um, Jim, did you want to talk a bit about the what the model was going to look like in terms of uh, after the project is over? Yeah. So, so we're we're looking at a couple of different models, Carl. <clears throat> right now, uh, James, uh, our groups are set up so that the members pay uh, a monthly membership fee to to join. But we're looking at uh, with this group uh, kind of a hybrid. Uh, either uh, we give it. Uh, at a very discounted rate to the uh, to the IT professional, and you take on that cost, but you're you're giving it to your clients, mm -hmm. um, or we offer that same discount to uh, the members of the group, and everybody pays their own membership. Uh, again, we're we're still kind of feeling that out and trying to figure out which one it is, which way to go. And and in that case, it could be another profit center for your business if you opt to go that way. But we're going to open up the flexibility. Considering we've never tried a model like this, uh, that's why we want to go through the process. And then when we start uh, next year, for those that want to continue, we'll look at either a model where uh, the organization pays one fee or they pass that along to the members who are engaged. So for example, James, uh, let's say that and, and all of this needs to be discussed by the the um, pilot panel members, pilot project members. But let's say that you were paying ten dollars a month for a license, and you've got thirty people in your group. You could charge your clients twenty nine dollars a month, or you could simply include it in managed services. Like part of part of what you benefit is that you get to be a member of the Ulink group. And then people who are not your clients or haven't signed a managed service deal, they pay $29 a month. In either case, you pay $10 a license. So some of them you give away in your platinum bundle and others 
um, you just make so much money per license. And okay. you know the the beautiful thing is since we have the app, if you got a username and a and a logon, we can track perfectly how many are out there and how many are in use, right? Sure. You, you might even consider a hybrid kind of offering where there's a flat fee per something, and then every referral that changes from a referral to a, a status of customer or something like that. Because you know, I easily reimburse my prospects or anybody that gives me a referral. I give them usually a thousand dollars, and and so you know, to pay on a, a a variation where oh that turned into a business you know of uh, X amount of dollars per year. You know, here's here's something back to the Ulink people. Here's something back to the original person that referred the business. I'm just thinking out loud. Right. Yeah. And and we've even talked about you know maybe it'll be sold in you know or licensed in 10 packs or something, you know, but yeah. that's the kind of thing where both Adam and Jim, my experience is working with these guys for years is they're very entrepreneurial and very open to figuring out, okay, you know, what's the combination of things that's going to make this take off, right? And at the end of the year, that's, that's what it's about. Sure, sure. I, I completely understand that. I mean, they obviously put in a lot of work into this app. It looks really, really good, very professional, well thought out. So they certainly deserve to get uh, get their fair share. Yeah. And if we could clone them, we could just send them to each city, but that cloning technology hasn't worked out so far. <laughs> I think we have a referral for James, so that's good. I'll send a case of wine. Actually, a really nice feature that Adam built into the app for each member is it lets them know if there is a, a referral spiff. I did see that. I saw that yeah. on the previous demo. Okay, cool. Very nice. That's yeah. nice. That's a nice yeah. feature. Yeah, and we, we don't police or manage that. Um, it's just a, it's an offering, and it's up to the uh, uh, the referee and the referrer to uh, to get together and, and uh, collect on that on that fee. But it's it's available there, so uh, you can offer it. Oh, cool. I think that's it on my questions. All right. All right. Anybody else comments or questions? All righty. Well, that pretty much takes up the half hour. So, uh, any uh, any parting comments or um, recommendations here? You know what? We're excited about the the project and uh, expect to learn a lot in working with the SMB community. And I'd say that's it from our end. I think. Adam? Yeah, no, I'm good. All right. And you so guys how did to folks get a hold of you? Across different OS platforms, right? Microsoft, Windows, or um, iOS, that kind of thing. So this this is uh, what we consider a web app. So it's available by going to your uh, browser, and it does work on uh, on every platform. And, and we right. did it that way on purpose, because as you know, with all the different platforms, it's. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> I do understand. <laughs> so excellent. Thanks, guys. Appreciate all it. Right. So they just send an email to Jim at ulinknetwork.com? I sent one this morning. Perfect. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you all.